When performing a heart transplant, how do surgeons make sure that no air gets into the circulatory system? Similar techniques as when we're doing a regular intracardiac operation. We vent the left side of the heart in two places the left atrium and the aortic root. Head down and we turn the vent suction, kinetic up before declamping. LA, LV vent suction stays up so the heat can't eject until we see the heart on echo to ensure the left side of the heart is clear of air bubbles. Anything on the right side just goes to the lungs, no biggie. Just imagine the number of people they had to go through to work out the kinks with this type of major surgery. A cardiac surgeon's learning curve is often bloodstained. There's an interesting BBC documentary called Blood and Guts about the history of surgery. There's a great episode about the crazy history of cardiac surgery. All the advances we have made have come at the cost of hundreds and thousands of lives necessary sacrifices, but for a worthy cause. And don't feel bad because most of the patients who died would have died without a surgery anyway so the surgery was giving them a fighting chance. Perfusionists make sure the cardiac bypass machine is well primed and full of fluid without bubbles. When they surgeons cannulate the major vessels, they prime the circuit with the patient's blood before connecting it to a primed tube. They let a little fluid overflow when they connect it so there's no air in the circuit. During the surgery, the aorta, the major blood vessel that sends blood to the rest of your body, is clamped. So air can't get into the circulation. If we need circulatory arrest to release the clamp for aortic surgery, then the heart and bypass machine are stopped temporarily and while there is no blood flow in the body, there's no risk of air getting entrained or sucked into the body. Then when they finish, we put the patient in a head-down position so the air doesn't go to the brain. There's normally an additional venting system that drains the heart and can suck out air and blood and we can fill the heart with blood as well. Sometimes they can put a venting needle in the major vessels to release any air. They might shake or massage the heart to release any airlock, break up any big bubbles. We look at the echocardiogram in real time to make sure there aren't any bubbles before decannulating the patient. 